Hi, we're St. Croix Paranormal. I'm Krista. I'm Steve. I'm Jill. And we're here to talk about Monique's house that we've investigated um, a while back. Let's and see. what we got at Monique's house, the reason she called us in, is she was experiencing for many, many years since she's moved into the house, she would hear the sound of like the garage, the door to the garage would open, slam shut. She would hear footsteps running up the stairs. And then up until recently, she never seen anything or heard anything until she and her husband, I think she said it was about 2 o'clock in the morning, had heard um, somebody scream, Mom, right in her face. And they both sat up in the middle of the night and realized that it was none of their kids' voices. They did go out and check on their kids. They were all totally sound asleep. And they also said it was not their children's voice, so it wasn't something where their kids were having a nightmare or calling out. Um, and just because of the increase in activity, she just kind of wanted us to come out, check the place out. Uh, we did find quite a few things. Um, one of the most interesting thing we found was uh, we had actually caught some orbs. And, right, and then when we got the orbs at the house, the interesting one is I was shooting. You were sitting in that chair. Um, and just recently, as But these were the still footage is what you're going with right here. Well, we have both the still and the <laughs> yeah. video incorporated. Okay. Um, so as we were sitting there uh, filming, Krista was kind of looking down, and I can actually see an orb come into the film, and of course this is on review, and then it flies up. But what happened while I was there is I shot a still photo, and I saw an orb, and I mentioned it to everybody. I saw a big, it, in my camera it looked this big, it was not quite that big, but it was huge, just enough I could see it, it was green. I took another shot, and it had moved from here to here, Took a third shot, was completely out of the camera field. Uh, as we were taking the still shots, Krista, you happened to film quite a few of those. What did you see on that? Um, as I was filming, you could see these little green light balls go across the, the wall. Um, you could actually follow them and see them disappear and then shoot back in. So it was really fun to take that day. Yeah, we actually uh, got that on film and on still photos as well. So why don't we take a look at that clip? Here, you guys. Okay, and then I shot the picture again, and it was there, and now it's not even there. So I have no, three I pictures. I have. I got it on a, here. I saw something green fly by. A big. Oh, it just went by again. A big green light, like it looked green. Yeah. And it was big, and then it got a little smaller towards the ceiling. Then I took the third picture, and it's gone. Well, I keep seeing this little green light fly. Oh, there it went again. Over by the TV. Nothing. It went that way. I don't know why it's so blurry when I take this room. Nothing. Dude, it was there on the first two, and now I got nothing. That's good, then. I wish that freaking flashlight would go off. Oh, was it light again? Where? It just floated up towards the kit, the dining room. Okay, I'm flat. Zero, zero, you know that. Zero, zero. Yeah. So it, I need the battery. Nothing else. I don't Because you have a red light, so it wouldn't be white or no, it was, green. No, it was like a green glow. No, yeah, I saw green. green. I saw it. It's on here. And like I said, it looked 
really big, and then the second picture, it was smaller, but it had moved. Yeah. And then on this third picture, it's gone. And the next, last few I've shot, it's not there. Ooh, we got a spike here, 1.2, 1.4. Yes, we're talking about you. We want to see you. We want to hear you. <coughs> oh, it, it, it's by Steve. I don't know if that's... There's no lights on in there.
orbs, Steve? Why don't you tell the people out there what orbs are? Well, Jill, I'm glad you asked. An orb, the definition of ghost hunters is, it's a ball of energy, light mass, whatever you'd like to call it. There's many different types, and we've classified them from what our evidence shows. Plasma orbs, which can change shape and come and go, as you can see, which you see evidence from our, um, this would be Amy's house video, up by the yep, hockey net. Yep, we got that coming out. Okay, and then what else we've seen is we have spark orbs, which is, you'll just be shooting an infrared, and all of a sudden the big ball of light will appear and be gone just as fast as it came. We consider those spark orbs. And we just consider a random orb would just be a ball of light that can just move and, you know, manipulate itself, not like dust. You've probably seen how dust footage is filled with, you know, gravitational or wind moves side to side, but there's always a bunch of them in the footage. These are just one massive ball of light that can come and go and, you know, do as it pleases. session that was actually our first time using the spirit box um, it was at Monique's house and it was very interesting and we did hear a little vo uh, voice of a little girl I believe she's about 10 years old just kind of talking to her a little bit um, between talking upstairs and we got her talking downstairs she followed us into the basement after the uh, pocket pulling incident oh, yes that was after the yeah. pocket pulling and we did we did actually I think she went down there because I said where are you and she said basement and, yep. and we'll show you that clip as well no, but there's a little girl. Can you say hello? Yes. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Dude, don't touch people. Did you hear that? She said yes. How old are you? we got uh, we were sitting down in the basement I uh, was trying to get a feel for asking different questions uh, the one thing that we did get was I had asked if the spirit would touch Krista we all know I don't like to be touched I tried to pawn it <laughs> off on these guys oh, and uh, said didn't want to touch Krista plainest days said no asked if we could touch Steve for some reason this little girl really liked Steve kind of hung around Steve most of the night most of the activity was with Steve um, I did ask if she wanted to touch Steve, and she said friend. So I feel that she just somehow latched on to Steve for some reason or another, but I found it uh, the different things that we got to be very interesting through the spirit box. Take it downstairs. Take it downstairs. I have a feeling you're going to get something. I take it downstairs. Go, you guys go down. If you're here, can you go touch Krista? No? 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 How 
about Steve? Do you like Steve? We did get uh, the weird anomaly we had was uh, when you and I were sitting by each other with, you had your millimeter, I had the spirit box and was making that weird doo doo doo, almost like a cry. Um, reviewing the tape, I thought maybe our machines were too close together, um, but as well what we did is a, on another adventure is we did put those two pieces of equipment together. They did not do it at a different location. Not saying that location difference uh, could have been a factor, uh, but we just kind of found that was a little bit weird, so we'll take a look at that clip right now. Do you have your millimeter on you? I want to do an experiment. Put your millimeter on here. No, but I'm saying, remember at that Monique that was making that weird noise and I thought it was because of this? Mm -hmm. But I also watched that tape playback and you weren't that close to me. I mean, you might have been here. Yeah. But yeah, it's not doing it. So that was the weirdest thing at Monique's time. Oh, yeah. I was taping. I didn't see anything on the picture, but I was looking at I mean, it. I mean, I could have been off by a second, I guess. 6.3, Jill. 6.3. Really? 6.3. It just went to zero. I had a 6.3 and went to zero. Instantly. It's, are you teasing? Okay, quick. Instantly. Instantly. Okay, give him a little Jill, thrill. How does it go from 6.3? That's impossible. I just went from a solid zero and it incrementally crept up to a 3.5 and it's holding steady and it's not moving. Go touch that flashlight. Okay, it got really cold over here. It's getting cold, really cold. What's the temperature drop? About three, it's get okay, we're, could, here we go, we got something guys. My hand is in a cold, cold spot. It took the sweat right off my hand. I'm not joking. We are going up. Finally. There's there's cold. There's cold. I feel like cold here. There's like cold here. Right here. And it, everything's going. Everything on my millimeter is going up. It's just... Okay, something... There's something here right now. We have all the dots. Where's our birth here? hand is in an ice cold circle. Do you feel that? Dude, both of my hands are freezing. I feel your heat, but not feel the cold. It's because it's sucking. Oh, now, okay, now I feel it right about here. Yep. Okay, we still, dude, this is amazing. Okay, we know you're here. You finally realize we're good. We're not here to hurt you. 
I'm glad you're staying here, right? <coughs> Steve, you had something really interesting happen to you while you were there. Why don't you tell us about that? All right, well, I was taking my um, millimeter, and I was detecting electromagnetic fields in the kitchen just to see what was going on. Krista was uh, my cameraman filming me the whole time, and uh, what happened was I got up to the counter. You know, I'm not touching it or anything. I'm just checking, like, the microwave or the refrigerator and checking the outlet back and like this. And as soon as I ascended my arm, I felt a hand grab my back rear pocket of my pants and just drag me away with a quick, sharp jerk away from the cabinet. And I just stopped and I go, Krista, did you see that? She said yes. But nobody knew at the time what was, what the extent of this was. And I just stopped. I'm just sitting there going, is there any way I could have snagged my jeans on anything? And I'm not near anything. I'm in the middle of between the island and the refrigerator. And all I did is extend myself, and I was not wearing any clothing that would have caught. I mean, the jeans were just, it was a rear pants pocket. Like somebody grabbed my pants and yanked me away from the cabinet. It was a very interesting, you know, interesting experience, and I've never had that happen before. And, you know, unfortunately, we did not get that idea. That, that was bad. We were actually filming it, but sometimes the ghosts like to manipulate things that you're doing. Uh, so that film footage never existed. Uh, I, I do remember when I was going through the footage, I was very excited to watch this on camera because Chris said you were filming okay. it. I was filming it, and I did not turn it off. I did not pause it. I was pretty sure I was filming the whole time. So And when I got done watching the entire videotape, it just dawned on me, wait a minute, I did not see yeah. where the pocket pulling happened. So to line up the time frame, which again is always very good for you to have your equipment as far as using your audio recorders, what time you can line things up, uh, found at, at what position that this had happened. Uh, audio, you could hear the whole thing go on with the pocket being pulled, him talking about it. Uh, about 30 seconds to a minute before this actually happened, the camera apparently shut itself off, but showing Krista that she was still filming, and turned itself on again about 30 seconds to a minute after the particular poll had happened. And uh, the interesting thing I found um, on video is uh, that one orb shortly before this happened, the one coming through the doorway, that kind of went through yep. the yeah. ass and in and out the door right kind of by your leg and into your pant leg. And then shortly after that, you had gotten the, yeah. the pull from that. So let's that, check out that video clip. Yep, well, let's show that. Counting up. We counted down, now it's counting back up. Yeah. It should be two and a half hours worth of food. I like it's like all zero. I mean, there's nothing going on in this house. Mm -hmm. We'd like to take the opportunity to show you some of our equipment. It'll help you understand what it is and why we use what we use. So now it's time for a little segment we'd like to call Paranormal Tools. Today our um, equipment of the show is our EM pump, electromagnetic pump. And what this little machine does is it puts out electromagnetic force out into the air in which ghosts and spirits can use as energy and ghosts use energy to talk and to um, come, come to us and talk to us. And so that these use are good for like an hour. If you turn them on an hour before, you're going to do your investigation and get the energy in the air so your spirits can use that energy. Uh, we've had good luck with these. Um, always after an hour they come on 
then that's when our winter activity starts to get uh, more active, um, usually an hour, yeah. Um, so these are a great device for if you're going to go ghost hunting to have and set up beforehand before you start your investigation. Thanks. What's uh, actually going on at Oneids? So we feel it's a little girl and another guy. That's kind of about where we got on that. Uh, we did have different temperature changes, fluctuations on that, um, different cold spots, different feelings that we had gotten there. And just all around, we did get a little bit of activity. Nothing great, but it's just something to let us know that someone's there. That's kind of our show of Monique's house today. And uh, just please visit us at St. Croix Paranormal or on Facebook. Thanks.